Hello everyone, this is Sunny Mo, and I'm here to show you or just take you on a short tutorial on how to uh, do stones and we're just working on stones in particular. Just want to show you how to enhance the stones there up. So, um, of course, I would like to apply more details. And as you can see, they're well, well squared off on this in this section. Um, I can definitely do more stuff over here. But what I would like to do is to just kind of show you how to apply more color on this stone here to make it more or make it less chalky let's just say so um, <laughs> looks like a, a pastel uh, work has been done there so so I'd like to start you off with um, the colors I have selected here so um, I am using acrylic paint this here would be Mars black cadmium yellow Titanium white and primary red. All right. So, what I would like to do to come up with the color closest to this, I would like to take a little bit of red, set it here, and then go ahead and uh, grab some of this yellow, scoop it up. Apply that onto there, right? So, grab a little bit of the Mars black to get that brown like color before applying the white. And that is when you want to just cream it out a little bit and it won't be as dark as you see it right now. So apply the palette knife. Yep. Oh wow, that's beautiful. Let's add a little bit more red. Matter of fact, let's use the rest of it. Sure looks good to me. You can play around with it to come up with the color that you think seem best fit. So I chose to add a little bit more of the cadmium yellow to just kind of complete the darker variation. Oh wow, look at that. Beautiful. So the next thing that I want to do is, I want to grab some of this here titanium white, just a little bit, and apply it to here. And as you can see, it has smoothened out to be this soft, brown colors it's almost terracotta well this is the color that I like and I will be working on shadowing so doing the shadows and nothing but the shadows all right and on the next tutorial I'll show you how to apply the light onto the tiles since we're time limited all right so before we get started I would like to show you that I am using this here paintbrush. It's a, not that fine, but it's fine enough. <laughs> yes. Round CP85. So what I would like to do, just dab a little bit of water and uh, just kind of 
go over it a little bit and to just make sure that I get just enough and thin enough to drag. All right, let's go. So I'm gonna be getting a bit uncomfortable, everyone. That's okay. Because when you're on the journey of art, you have to get a bit uncomfortable. But everything's gonna be easy peasy. So, I will come up here and just apply a little bit. So that way we have some color. I'm not gonna fill it all the way in because I would like to leave space for shadow. shadows and just applying more color you know uh, it's off color yes and as a matter of fact I will stay with you for a few more minutes to demonstrate to you how to apply the lights on to the stars so yeah, that's gonna be fun. Actually, applying the light is my favorite part of the painting. So, we're working on a small section here of this painting. I've been at it for a few hours yesterday. And, you know, just observing and, you know, seeing what I can do to change it, you know, um, I, see, I see things in this painting I'd like to make changes of, make adjustments, you know, and it's just like life, you make adjustments in life, you know, so make life and painting, art, really. 
got to see things from your perspective. to do. Hmm. I must tell you. I'm going to apply just a little more red onto this here and see what I can do about that. So please excuse me if I am in the way and let me apply this here palette knife. So little more red I take it and apply it and let's brighten this thing out a little bit I want a little more red just a little more red right yes and it's gonna show that the shadow has some form of light shadows there's still a light source there so you don't want it too dark then you don't want it too light so here I am back at it and I'm just gonna touch up where I started I should add it red to this to the red color And then I would like to bring it up a little more. Yes. Bring it down here. Yes. Why not? Even though the light source is more on that side, I want to get a little more red over there. So I'll be playing with that later on, you know, sometimes, sometimes you just do things that don't make sense, and um, once you feel you have it figured out, it's your choice on what you want to do, let me encourage you, you don't have to go by rules, responsibility to apply what we need for our experience and if we want to show to the world we just express to ourselves and others it requires work and you just can't do that if you have no work to show therefore responsibility comes in line. Right. 
So that glory goes to our Heavenly Father. That's right. Thank you. We all have a purpose. Yes, we do. So I used to have that attitude, that demeanor, where I did something. I did something. do self-glorification anymore. Now, you know, just you know the word of yeah. obedience. I feel good about it. You know, I mean, there's, there's just much more than to be to God by You know, uh, more so be that noticeable when you step back and if you're doing the work yourself you'll see alright so tell rather if you're outside now I'm not going to overdo this with this here titanium white right this here titanium white what I would like to do I would like to dab a little bit into this that there and you know just using this paintbrush to mix colors like that it's fine I'll invest in another one nothing is ruined and what I can do to help keep it from wilting and getting abused or getting destroyed is you just dip it in the water and endure it again. Right? Yes. And then take another glob of it, put it on the other side of it. Right? Know your color value. You know, mix a little bit of that with it. Put a little water. And thin it out. You don't want to lay it on it too heavily. Now let's see what I can do. So, as you can tell, the light source is coming from that direction. Maybe that way. So, starting here, I would like to just
tell a slight difference from here and there. But you're just touching it up with the, the white and uh, a little bit of the blended color that I chose for the, uh, the shadowy. Right? And still, the, the same rule applies. You know, do not go over the line. Do not cross the line. You want to show the separation between the stones. Right? You can tell that these are stones. I must be doing something right. paintings aren't going to be perfect. It be perfect to you in your eyes, but you use your best ability to project what you got to project from the mind. Is it always crystal clear of what you think that you put on your canvas or whatever uh, fabric you choose to paint on? Ask yourself that question. It's a very deep question because it's something to really ponder on. I can give you an answer to that from my experiences. No. Flat out. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> I've got I've got the light source here. to you the light so I demonstrated the shadow and then the light and I can do a little more to show you on shadowing but I will be taking it a bit too far so this here is just a tutorial I will definitely show you more and you will see how this painting improved in due time 
So I tell you now, this is where we part. And I hope that all is well for the rest of you. And if you like, go ahead and leave a like. Please subscribe to my channel. And I will be back soon. Peace and blessings.